A long time ago, a woodcutter lived on the edge of a large forest with his two children, a girl named Gretel and his son named Hansel, and his wife who was the children's stepmother. They were very poor, despite all the hardcutter's hard work. One year there was a terrible famine, and there was not enough food for the whole family. One night, the stepmother told the woodcutter they must take Hansel and Gretel deep into the forest and leave them there. Hansel overheard them talking. He told Gretel the terrible plan. Then, Hansel had a great ha! idea. He would fill his pockets with white pebbles to leave a path back to the house when this happened. The next morning, the stepmother said they all had to go into the woods to gather firewood. As they walked deeper and deeper into the woods, Hansel dropped his white pebbles to mark the path back to their house. The next day, Hansel and Gretel returned back to the house. Oh! Their stepmother was very angry. She told the woodcutter to take them deeper into the woods. This time, Hansel marked their path with breadcrumbs from his pocket so they could find their way home. In the morning, there were no breadcrumbs. The woodland animals had eaten them all. Hansel and Gretel began to walk through the forest. And suddenly, they could not believe their eyes. They found the most amazing house, made of gingerbread, with a roof of icing and windows made of sugar. They were so hungry, they broke off a piece of the house to eat. Then they heard a voice. Nibble, nibble like a mouse. Who's that nibbling at my house? The door opened, and an old woman leaning on a cane frightened Hansel and Gretel. The woman then smiled and invited Hansel and Gretel into her house for a delicious dinner of pancakes and apples. After dinner, she said they could stay for the night, and she made up the beds for them as sweet and kind as any grandmother. The children had no idea the old woman was really a wicked witch. Before Hansel and Gretel awoke the next morning, the Wicked Witch carried Hansel to a cage she had built and locked him inside. Now I can fatten you up so I can eat you. The witch made Gretel cook so Hansel would grow plump. The children cried and begged to be set free, but the Wicked Witch just laughed at them. Every day the Wicked Witch, who could not see very well, wanted to feel Hansel's fingers through the bars of the cage so she could feel how plump he was getting, plump enough to eat. But Hansel cleverly only gave her an old bone to feel. She thought he was always much too thin for her to eat. <laughs> Weeks went by and the witch was becoming impatient as Hansel didn't seem to be growing any fatter. One morning, the witch ordered Gretel to make a fire in the oven. After a while, the witch said to Gretel, Climb up into the oven to see if the fire is ready. Gretel asked, But how can I get into the oven to see? The witch was impatient and climbed up herself to show Gretel how to look at the fire. Quick as a wink, Gretel shoved the old witch into the oven. Then she banged the door shut. Gretel ran over to free Hansel from the cage. They now had nothing to be afraid of. They explored the witch's house and found jewels and gold coins in every corner. Hansel and Gretel filled their pockets with all the riches and gold coins, and they set out to find their way home. They walked for a long time and finally came to the edge of a big lake. How can we ever cross without a bridge or a boat, said Hansel. Here comes a swan, said Gretel. I will ask her to help us. The beautiful swan agreed to carry them across the lake. Once they were on the other side, they recognized the forest edge, and they began to run down the path towards home. When the woodcutter saw them running towards him, he cried tears of joy for seeing his children. He did not have a moment of peace since he had left them in the forest. 
His wife had died while they were gone. The children emptied their pockets of all the gold, rubies, and diamonds. The father could not believe his eyes. The woodcutter, Hansel and Gretel all lived happily ever after, with the help of the witch's gold and treasures.